Okay, here's question number 54. Oops, forgot to label that. Okay, this is question 54. So it gives you this equation, um, which is a log equation of a quadratic, and it says which of the following number lines is all the values in the domain. So it's basically asking you to say acceptable x values. Okay, a side note about logs for the ACT. Logs do appear on the ACT, but if you already if you already know them, that's great, but if you don't, I wouldn't recommend putting the time in to learn them for the ACT. They don't come up that often, maybe one question on every every other paper. Um, so it's not, like unless you're getting, you know, above 55 out of 60 every single time, I wouldn't say it's worth the time to learn these. If you don't know logs and you're, you know, working your way up to getting a composite score of, you know, 25, 29, even low 30s, on the ACT, it's just not worth your time learning logs. You can skip the question, guess it, you might get it right anyway. There are other areas where you can improve. But if you do know logs, here's how to solve this question. So first of all, I'm going to factor that quadratic, which is pretty easy. It's just gonna be this. Now, the thing about logs is that you cannot do a log of a negative number. So we can't make either of these negative. So either they both have to be positive or they both have to be negative. So if they're both positive, then for this set, that means x has to be greater than three, and x has to be greater than one. Now, if x is greater than three, then we know it's greater than one, so really this is the restriction that counts here. Conversely, x has to be less than three, or x has to be less than 1. I'm doing that by basically just saying, well, if x minus 3 has to be positive, that means greater than 0, and so that means x greater than 3. Just apply the same logic to all of these, and you get this set. Now, if x is less than 1, then it also has to be less than 3. So this is the value that counts here. So in your number line, you're looking for values that are greater than 3, so that's going to be like this. Sorry, these should actually be open circles because it's greater than and less than 1. So you're looking like this. Um, so that's answer option K.